All right, today we are going to show positioning for an AAS or a three-way abdomen on a hypersthenic patient. An AAS stands for an acute ambulatory series, um, typically involves one picture of the chest and two of the abdomen. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Um, the other video already shows how you would change the patient and the history taking involved. So this is strictly the positioning. So first thing we're going to do is set this um, for the chest x-ray because that would make the most sense to me to do first. So we're going to meet a 72 inch SID. We're going to use 110 and probably 110 at 1.4 on my patient on the wall buggy. So we'll set this up and then I will get her. Usually with these kinds of exams, um, the patient has something going on that um, involves both chest and abdomen or sometimes it's just a good, um, a good general study to kind of see what exactly is going on with the patient. So we're at a 72 inch SID. I know that because the light is lit up. We are going to bring this down a little bit and we're gonna be on 72. We're gonna be crosswise, 14 by 17. Left marker up. So on chest, marker is always up and always anatomically correct. So if she's PA, this would be her left side and that would be left marker. All right, so I will get my patient, Alyssa. Come on with me if you would. We'll just have you come in here over by that chest board on the wall. So I would have already explained what we're going to do with her, confirmed who she is, and she would be changed with literally everything off. Her shoes and socks would likely be on, and she would have a gown on open to the back. Okay, we'll have you step right up again there and face the board for me. Okay. Now, her hair is braided and it is kind of thick. So real world, I would probably have her put that up if she could. If she had nothing to put it up, I would probably run it down the edge of her shoulder because then it's not gonna obscure anything um, and I can get it out of the way enough. So I'm gonna palpate you. Is that okay if I touch you? All right. So just gonna lean the arm just a little bit. So inferior angle of the scapula is right there. <clears throat> there we go. Good. All right. So I moved that. I'm going to bring this down. Of course, the light goes out because it was too slow. All right. Well, put your hands on your hips for me. Good. And just lean right into that as best you can. Cover the back. There you go. Good. Just going to put your hand right there. Right there. Inferior angle. And then in the middle of the spine, should put me right about T7. Good. Just like that. I'm going to go up a little bit now. So I'm bring this up while you There you go. Good. All right. I'm going to have you stay just like that. When I tell you I'm going to have you take in a breath and then blow it out, and then the second time a deep breath in and hold it, okay? Okay, good. Just like that for me. Go ahead, take in a deep breath. Blow it all out. One more deep breath in. Hold it. Beep. Good. You can breathe and relax. Now we're going to go ahead and set up for an upright abdomen at 40, but we're not going to be at the table grid. We're going to be at the wall bucky. And normally we would be 80 at 12.5, but I'm going to go 80, 80 at 15. So what I'll have you do is go ahead and just step over here for just a moment. Thank you so much. 
So we'll bring this into a 40 inch SID. All abdomens are done typically at 40. Now the leg is lit up at 40, so that's something we did that. But I do have to change my collimation to 14 by 17 on the, on the 40 inch SID. And now this should be facing out, so left side will be over here. So abdomen on chest, marker is always up, abdomen always down on abdomen. So what we'll do is put you back against there for me. Good. Stand up nice and straight. Just make sure we have her in the middle. Good. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna palpate iliac crests, which are right here. And I'm gonna go two inches above iliac crest at midline. So the top, my three fingers is about two inches. So I'm gonna bring this down. So that is right about. So iliac crest is here, two inches above that. Good. And now I'm gonna bring this cord down behind you. Markers are already there. Just to make sure that's in the middle. Good. So this should capture diaphragm at the top. And now remember with white field, it's always deceiving on any patient. When you put a patient between your IR and your light source, it's always going to look smaller than what it truly is. Um, realize that we have light probably from about here to here. So we're gonna capture diaphragm on this. And that looks good just like that. So on this one, a little bit different, I'm gonna have you breathe in and blow it out and then hold it out for me, okay? Good. Just keep looking forward just like that is perfect. So go ahead, take in a deep breath, blow it all out, hold it out, don't breathe, beep. Good, you can breathe and relax. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the table grid. Um, normally it would be 80 at 10, we're gonna go 80 at 12 on the table bucky. Okay, I'll let you come around over here for me. Let me just get this out of your way and I'll have you, in one second, I'll help you, I'll help you get up on the table. Can you turn and put your backside up there to lay on there, do you think? Good job. Good thing I have a young, agile patient. Good. And then just scoop. There you go. You comfortable like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put my marker. And. Good. A little creepy with that. So close to your home. <laughs> So there, there was an IR in here. If there were not, I would grab one, bring it in. And uh, I explained on the other one that typically on a supine abdomen, we do not need diaphragm. But according to the registry, you have to have pubic symphysis, and then you have to have as much of the upper abdomen as you can. But the radiologist that we work with they feel that if they're gonna read an abdomen, they want both superior and inferior border. So we get two images on most adults, the bottom one to include pubic symphysis, the top to include diaphragm, usually with at least one, two inches of overlap. So that's what we're gonna to demonstrate today. So we are going to be a 40 inch SID to the table bucky. We're gonna get that aligned. We're in the crosswise and we are in detent. All right, I'm gonna move this table a little bit and then I'm gonna have to push on you a little bit. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. First thing I wanna check is to make sure my patient is straight. Anytime they're on the table, that's just always good to make sure they start out straight. Makes it easier on you and the patient. So I'm gonna wiggle your foot a little bit try and find greater trochanter. That is a, a good cheat 
to line up with pubic symphysis. Are you okay if I push on you a little bit? All right, so pubic symphysis, greater trochander. I just wanna make sure that I have light that goes beyond that area so that I make sure I'm capturing everything necessary. And then I just wanna make sure I have her in the middle. So I'm in the middle of my patient. Just like that. I'm gonna use my left marker down low because it's abdomen. I'm gonna put that right there. And we're gonna breathe the same way. Your hands are fine like that. I'm gonna have you taking a breath and then blow it out and hold it out, okay? All right, so go ahead and take in a breath for me. Blow it all out. Good, hold it out. See, good, you can breathe and relax. Now, since we're gonna do two crosswise, my IR doesn't change. I am gonna use my marker as a guide and put it in the top of the light field. And all I'm gonna do is move the patient so that my marker ends up in the bottom of the light field. And what that means is that this area will be overlapped on both images. This will be the top of the first image, and then this is the bottom of the second image. So that proves that I haven't missed anything um, or not given the radiologist any information that they would need in order to, to read that image. Just wanna check and make sure I'm in the middle, which I am. We're aligned, everything looks good. All right, one more time, I'm gonna have you breathe the same way for me, okay? All right, so take in a deep breath. Blow it all out. Hold it out, don't breathe. Beep, good, you can breathe and relax. At this point, I would check all of those images and make sure that everything came out that was needed on there. Um, if everything was good, I would explain to my patient that um, her doctor should get those results within 24 to 48 hours. And then I would take my patient back to the dressing room and allow her to change. And then I would walk her out. Just sit up. And that is an AAS series on a hyperstomach patient.